And today, once again, we are going to talk everything about endometriosis for I think many many more weeks to come because I received so many questions, so many questions that I have to answer. Yeah, I will try my best to answer all your questions, okay? I think last week we had a very nice uh, video. I took that opportunity to explain all the things you need to know about scanning for endometriosis. So the reasons are all explained and how to actually use all these scanning methods to look for endometriosis all explained in the last video. So if you missed my last video, please go to my YouTube channel. Uh, Depo Provera is an injection that you take for contraception. Usually, we inject three months once, uh, inject at your butt, you know, inject at your butt, so you can take that. And it's actually very one of the medications that you can consider when it comes to prevention of endometriosis. Because the principle behind preventing endometriosis, listen, uh, this is so important. The principle to prevent endometriosis is to use one hormone called progesterone. We don't want estrogen. This you have to remember because I will again and again mention this in many, many questions to come. So Depo Provera is a progesterone. It's good. Progesterone is good. It suppresses endometriosis. So when you take Depo Provera, it will suppress endometriosis. But her question is very good. It all depends in the first place whether you're taking it for prevention or for control. So there are two things, two situations where people take progesterone. One is, I already do my surgery. I'm very sure the doctor clear 100%. So now I take Depo Provera is to make sure it doesn't come back. So this is a prevention. If you take it for prevention, you must understand that endometriosis take a long time to come back. It take many, many years. It will take a long time before you will actually realize that it come back. Because it comes back slowly. Ma. Maybe after one year, got like 2% come back. After 2 years, got 4% come back. But 2%, 4%, uh, you don't feel anything, uh, and it doesn't actually affect you at all. So, it doesn't really matter. But the other way around, that means you take Depo Provera to control the disease. Meaning, you're taking it to control. Control means what? I know I have endometriosis, but I don't want to do surgery. So, in this type of situation, when you take Depo Provera, then your Depo Provera will work. But, Unfortunately, your disease is still there. So your disease 100% is still there. When you take the Provera, all the disease is still there. Only thing, it becomes not active. So you actually can see your cyst will get smaller and smaller and smaller because your cyst is not active. But your cyst is still there. It's just not active. It shrink becomes small, but it's still there. But if you did not do 100% clearance of disease, then very fast can come back. That is the problem number one. Number two is, okay, maybe you clear all your disease already, but when you stop your depot, it will come back. Other people, it may take another 10 years before you see the cyst. Lah. But for you, another two, three years, you see the cyst already. Why? Because endometriosis tend to come back faster when people have stress, stress, yeah? Endometriosis is very much linked to stress, anxiety, depression. So when you have anxiety and depression or very stressful life, the endometriosis tend to come back faster. So even though you have 100% clear already on the surgery, you take depo, it's very good because the medicine control, don't let the endo come back. But if you stop, it come back fast because you're so stressed. Definitely it will. Why? So if you're going to stop your Provera, your cyst will come back very fast. Very fast. Because you want to stop that depo but you don't want to get pregnant. Oh, don't ever do that. Don't ever do that if you're having endometriosis. Because if you do that, endo will come back. When the endo come back, then you cannot get pregnant already. Then when you cannot get pregnant, then you do surgery again. So see, I also see a lot of women after they give birth, then they, you know, first they got endo, they do surgery. And then they got pregnant. Oh, pregnant happy. Everybody happy, right? After give birth, they forgot about their endo. Then the period come back. So period come back, what will happen? Endo come back, oh. After give birth, your endo disappear, ma. You scan no endo, ma. Because pregnancy, no period, right? Breastfeeding also no period. So happy, scan, no endo. But when your period come back, endo will come back. So sad. So don't forget about endo. Endo is a lifelong disease. Endo will be with you for the rest of your life as long as you have menses. 
Once you have no menses, endo is still there. Trust me, I also do surgery on people 60 years old, 70 years old, I go in still with endo one. But only thing, because they're menopause already, the endo is not active anymore. So endo is going to be with you for the rest of your life. As long as you have menses, you'll be active. No menses, no active. So don't want your menses to come. The less, the better. Okay? So you must ask yourself why you want to stop the depot. The only reason why you want to stop is to get pregnant. If you're not trying to get pregnant, oh, please don't stop. I mean, if you don't like depot, you can change. You can change depot to another progesterone. It doesn't have to be depot forever. So for those of you who missed last week, Nasi is more about how to scan, to know how to detect endometriosis, which is again very important so that you will know why very often you scan and doctors say it's okay, but yet you have endometriosis, okay? So if you have any more questions, just put it up in the uh, comment section. Okay, I will answer it in the future uh, videos to come. See you again. Okay, bye-bye.